the slowing economy indicators on June 24 the local time gave the market a sense of relief. As economic growth and inflation slow, expectations have grown that interest rate hikes will slow. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell has emphasized in his testimony to Congress his willingness to keep faith with U.S. economic data and inflation. As a result, the market has been bearish as international commodity prices such as oil branded due to aggressive interest rate hikes by central banks such as the U.S. Federal Reserve and the concerns about the global economic slowdown rose rapidly. Expectations that central banks' rate hikes could end prematurely have risen. Markets have also speculated that the lost rate hike could be over after the next few Fed meetings, that the, the slowed data adjustment was positive. The University of Michigan's final 12 months inflation expectation for June was 5.3%. This is a slight decrease from the preliminary estimate of 5.4% announced in early June. Consumers expressed their highest level of uncertainty about long-term inflation since 1991. The overall consumer sentiment index at the University of Michigan in June fell to 50 a record low. This is 14.4% lower than 58.4 in May and 41.5% lower than the same period last year. Although it was negative news that the overall consumer sentiment index fell to an all-time low in June, investors were positive about the decline in inflation expectations. The University of Michigan Consumer Confidence Index was created shortly after World War II. The December 1964 index is based on 100. This calculation method was developed by Professor George Cardona, who was a professor at the University of Michigan in the 1940s. This index is mainly used as a leading indicator of the business cycle because there is a little time lag in data release. So it is excellent in breaking news and because it directly reflects consumer expectations. The University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index is released twice a month. An estimate is released in the middle of the month first, followed by a final estimate at 9.45 Eastern Standard Time on the last Friday of each month. The New York Stock Exchange surged on June 24th local time. Expectations of an aggressive rate hike by the Central Bank of the Federal Reserve have retreated amid sluggish economic data and falling commodity prices. The Dow jumped more than 820 points over the battlefield. The Standard and Poor's 500 lost more than 110 points. The Nasdaq index surged more than 
three hundred seventy points or three point three four percent.